In today's video, we're opening a Gear Free the Iron Knight 10 from 2003. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video, we're opening this 10 and the reason we're opening this 10 is because Fortune Magician on Instagram hit me up and he said, hey, I just bought a 2003 10 for my girlfriend on your website. Do you wanna open it? So I said, of course I wanna open it. So he actually bought an old school retro 10 for his girlfriend, which, I mean, that's a pretty good gift. I mean, I guess his girlfriend's into Yu-Gi-Oh as well. That'd be funny if she wasn't into Yu-Gi-Oh. And he's like, guess what I bought you? I bought you this Gear Free the Iron Knight 10. She's like, what? He's like, yeah, we're gonna watch Rux and open it. <laughs> I doubt that's what happened, but that would be funny. But uh, we do have a giveaway. Let's get into that. I'll be giving away two Maximum Gold El Dorado mini boxes. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you wanna see from this 10. He has a list of what he wants to see, uh, or I guess his girlfriend wants to see, both of them maybe, I don't know. And speaking of giveaways, we're all the way caught up on announcing and shipping giveaways. So if I have not shipped your giveaway, that means I missed your message. So make sure you message me again and we can double check on that. Also, don't reply to any scammers in the comments that are saying, hey, send me a message on Telegram. Send me a message on whatever, whatever. That's not me. If it's me, you'll be able to click on the profile and see that all my videos are on there. If you click on their profile and they have two subscribers and no videos, that's a scammer. Also, I don't have Telegram. I don't have, uh, what's the other one they use? I already forgot, but they use it all the time. So I just use Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, basically TikTok, I guess that's it. All right, the spiel is over. Uh, we will be opening this up, but recently we've opened a lot of these tins and we've had some insane luck beforehand with Power of the Duelist. So we are gonna open, well, I think six packs of this, six packs of Power of the Duelist. We have pulled insane so far recently. So let's see if we can duplicate that and pull something awesome. Let's open up a few things before we get into that tin for Fortune Magician and his girlfriend. Let's go. We have the fake hero, very nice. The alien hunter. We've got the brainwashing beam. Miracle Jurassic Egg. And once again, a reminder, we are getting close to 150K and we're opening every single Yu-Gi-Oh pack in first edition when that happens. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Amulet's Rescue Roid, very nice. Uh, the Contact. Uh, the Alien Gray. Fossil Excavation and... The Submarine Roy, there's the guy who said, oh, there's an ulti in this card. Let me show you yeah, guys, show me what it looks like. And you guys did, like five people sent me a picture of that, which is pretty awesome because I don't remember ever seeing it. And now I saw five of them. So I probably had seen it before, but I really can't remember, to be honest. So maybe I hadn't two, three, four. Let's go. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare. That's all we really want. Common Soul. We really want that Dark Neos, Flare Neos or Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Those are what we want. Saber Source, the Royal Writ of Taxation, Alien Skull, Alien Gray, Synthetic Seraphim. We've got the Black Terra, Orbital Bombardment. And is it next? It's the Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. That is so funny because we pulled two of these in a row in the last two videos. Both were ultimate rare. So this is the first super rare. All right. So uh, Neospatian Aqua Dolphin is now our spirit Yu-Gi-Oh card. I was going to say animal. It's not really, it's kind of an animal because Aqua Dolphin, but it's also like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. So I guess spirit monster, we should say. But then you say spirit monster, you think actual spirit monsters from the TCG. Very confusing. So we're just going to, we're just going to stick with whatever. I don't know. Spirit monster. I don't know. <laughs> Miracle Jurassic Egg. Crop circles. We are struggling. Flying saucer. Mystical. We've got the baby Sarasaurus. Very awesome card. The Chris It's amazing how old this card is. And it's really, really good still. Crystal's Dolphin. That's probably why it's so good because when they're really old they have like broken effects and they didn't realize it back then and now they do the paths of destiny and the dark city it's batman gotham city very nice still three packs to go and then we get into that epic joey wheeler tin joey wheeler gonna open that gear free the iron knight all right one two three four we have a fake hero we've got the black stego brainwashing beam alien hunter flying saucer muscle the paths of destiny We've got the D spirit, the spirit of the D. We've got the Wonder Garage and the Supercharge. This is the ulti you never want to see. I mean, that would be rough. You're opening retail box, retail packs. You get that. You're like, ugh, gross. That is not what we're looking for. <laughs> the Supercharge. It kind of reminds me of cars, like, but like Cars 2, you know, like the really bad one. You know, Cars 1 and 3 are both pretty decent. Well, 1 is amazing, but 2 is just like the worst movie ever. That's what that is. Supercharge. Uh, Destiny Hero Blade Master. We've got the Alien Hunter. Brainwashing Beam. We've got the Black Stego. The Alien Grey, Synthetic Seraphim, Black Terror. These are all the same cards every time. Orbital Bombardment and 
the Neo Spatian Dark Panther. We've also pulled this in ulti somewhat recently. This is a really, really nice. I think it's like 150 in ulti, which is pretty amazing. Funny story about this on my TCG player. One time someone ordered a light play one. And I sent him the near mint one by accident. So the light play was like 60 and the near mint was like 150. So I had to cancel the order for the guy who got the near mint, which probably was upsetting for him. The light play guy just got a free near mint one. Feels like $150. So that happens sometimes when you're selling cards and it really sucks because it's like, oh my goodness, we just lost a lot of money and then not only that, the guy who uh, ordered the near miss is probably not happy. So the light play guy probably loved me, though. He's probably like, this guy's awesome. All right, uh, Mausoleum of the Emperor. Let's keep going. The Bite Lawn. The Ambulance Rescue Roid. Decoy Roid. Flying Saucer Muscle. Baby Sarasaurus at it again. These are the exact same packs. They're just like two different packs that keep alternating. The Paths of Destiny. Will we get an ultimate rare? Let's go! The Dasher. All right. Used to be a $15 rare. Now it's like a $1 rare. But hey, $1 is better than zero. Let's just say that. But wait. 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. All right, it is now time for Geofree, the Iron Knight, Joey, Wheeler. Inside, we will get one of the first five, well, one of each of the first five sets. We got Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Labyrinth of Nightmare. He was like, yeah, you don't have the best tracker record for opening these, but go ahead and open it. I was like, dang, man, you really got to rub it in like that. I was like, come on. Even though recently we did have a good one when we opened it up for, uh, I think it was Benjamin, and we got uh, Insane, we got the Dark Magician, the Reverse, Serpent Eye Dragon, all that crazy stuff. I just casually opened this tin like it's no big deal. It's definitely a big deal. Once again, I thank all you guys who like have these open on video. It's just a lot of fun for me and just great content. So shout out to all you guys who do that. It's really awesome. So I always really like am rooting for you guys to get awesome pulls because like, you know, you took the L on opening this tin. You let it be on the video. So uh, you guys are the heroes here and we really want to pull something good. Let's see if we can get a nice promo. Oh! It's almost nice that there's that. That's actually a pretty clean one. That is right smack dab in the middle. If that wasn't there, this would be like, honestly, the surface is still pretty good. It's just that one spot. Honestly, one of the better 2003 promos I've seen in a while. Centering is beautiful on this. If it weren't for that, like, okay, there's a little bit up there too. If this wasn't there, this would be like a 10, but it's like an eight because of that, unfortunately. But so probably not worth grading, but still like very, very nice card overall, like super minty everywhere but those two spots in the back one day there will be a tin that was perfectly still for 20 years and that card didn't get any sort of like waxing or like uh you know damage from being rubbed around on the back there it's gonna happen one day i believe okay let's see what we can do here he told me some of the cards that they won i think out of this one it was lon was mask of restrict i believe i think that's what it was so let's see if we can pull it the mask i'm gonna try and remember what they said um exactly but i didn't write it down so we're just gonna have to wing it i believe this was mask of restrict one two three four i'm almost positive about that let's see if we can get a foil can we have like an insane 10 and get like three out of five or something we got the forgiving maiden we got the vengeful bog spirit Oh, Rux and Special. Past the St. Joan. We've got the Empress Mantis. we got to keep an eye out for Reverse Secrets because that Reverse Serpent that I didn't notice in the video last time was worth like $200 because it was Reverse. So we got to keep checking out those if we get a Secret Rare. Amazonus Archer. Or Amazon Archer. That's a little different. The Supply. The Blind Destruction. Very cool. The Scroll of Bewitchment. Will there be something in here? Will it be a Secret? An Ultra? Oh, no! It was Destiny Board! No, this is the one they wanted! It was the other Ultra. This is the card they wanted. They wanted a Destiny Board. Ultra Rare. You love to see that. When somebody specifically requests one Ultra Rare and they and you pull it, the chances are tiny. I mean, it's one out of 12, and then there's 10 different Ultras, like one out of 200 to pull exactly what they wanted. Or one out of 120. I can't do math. One out of 120 to pull that. Can you imagine if we pulled like one? That would just be nuts. Destiny Board, Ultra Rare, F. F's in the chat, even though we're not live. But uh, yeah, that is amazing, guys. That is so cool. Yeah, I was like, Master Strix sounds right. But then I was like, something something doesn't seem right about that. And it's because I was thinking Ultra Rare Trap Card. Wrong one. It was Destiny Board. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. What a way to start. Okay, now I'm just expecting us to pull everything. They did ask for a Genzo, which is actually not possible out of this pack because it's a retail pack. So out of the 10s, it's always the retail secret. So it would be Imperial Order. But they had a second one. I think it was, what was the other card? It was like something kind of random. It might've been like a super rare or something. Let's just pull it and then help me remember. I think it might've been a super rare. Uh, Dokuro Yaiba, very nice. We've got the Dog Bat, very cool. Insect Imitation. Attack and receive. Okay, wait, is this guy getting stabbed in the face? Okay, he's not. I, always, <laughs> I was like, I didn't see that before. We got the Spike Bot. Uh, always a classic artwork, even though he has five stars, 1800, so he's really bad, but <laughs> very cool artwork. The Eye of Truth. Very nice. Regulation of the Tribe. 
Is it next? Is it next? No, Skull Mariner. Okay, a little bit of One Piece. I don't know why that I said One Piece because it's on the water. I don't know. Next card, what is it going to be? Dust Tornado, another foil. It's the Trap Card Day. All Trap Cards, which are, that'll bode well for Metal Raiders because there's insane Trap Cards in there. Dust Tornado, so we are two for two with two traps so far. Okay, I can't remember which one they wanted for Magical either. I remember Metal Raiders was Harpy Lady Sisters and Blue Eyes was either Gaia. It was Gaia the First Knight or Gaia the Dragon Champion, which I think you can pull Gaia the Dragon Champion in here, so it's perfect. This, I can't remember. I can't remember their uh, request for Pharaoh's Servant or Magic Ruler. I don't remember for some reason. It might have been like Relinquished. I don't think it was Relinquished. I think it was something else. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we can pull. Two for two so far, which is nutty. Okay, Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. So like one out of four to get, you know, one. One out of six for a super. One out of 12 for an ultra. It's just not easy. Magical Labyrinth. We got the Dark Zebra. Very cool. The Rising Air Current. Let's make sure we're recording here because this is a crazy video. Labyrinth Wall. The Liquid Beast. A liquid life form that thrives on water. I mean, are we surprised he thrives on water? He's literally like ooze. Okay, House of Adhesive Tape. Very nice. Is it next? Is it the next card? Ryu Ran, a classic. I always love this guy. And finally, what will it be? A Mahavilo, another super rare. Oh my gosh, three for three right now? This serious? A little bit of print line in the back there, but not too bad. Okay, three for three, 10. That is the first non trap card uh, foil so far, but three out of three. Like we've recently opened this. I think I opened one, I went over five. So yeah, this is pretty good luck. All right, now Metal Raiders, Harby Lady Sisters is what they want. I'm sure they would not be upset with like an ultra rare because there's some crazy good ultras in here. Let's see what we can get. One, two, three, four. Will it be something epic? metal raiders oh there i am i made it into the video the pale beast can we get the pecanio moth let's go jellyfish the oguchi the cheerful coffin the last juggler rock ochre grotto number one the labyrinth tank very cool gig tech wolf and cannon soldier somehow make this i don't really know how but they do crawling dragon and here we go what will it be will it be a foil are we gonna miss our first one or get four in a row mask of darkness okay we finally missed one mask of darkness we can grab a trap card from our graveyard though we have pulled two trap cards so not bad that works out with our pulls so far and the final pack three out of four they can't complain oh another fat pack last time we opened one of these well maybe two times ago we pulled the dark magician recently that was insane can we pull the blue eyes we pulled two before one from 2003 10 one from a 2002 10 well we probably pulled more than that but two from tens i should say what can we pull no first edition though one day we're gonna pull a first edition one it's gonna be insane all right one two three four can we get another foil can we get an ultra that'd be insane they want a gaia ultra rare or a guy secret rare. let's see forest oh, i just love the green it looks so good skull servant a classic common here green phantom king the tatsumi giant very nice kagamusha of the blue flame Dark Energy. Flame Manipulator. All right, cool. Frenzied Panda. And the final card, will it be the Blue Eyes, the Gaia? What will it be? Here we go. Send the luck. Ooh, a Dark Hole. So it's another foil. It's a classic spell card, even though it came out of a Magic Ruler pack, which is always interesting to see. Four out of five, though. They got one card they specifically asked for. They got a Secret Rare and then three Super Rares. Five foils out of a single 10. That is about as lucky as you're going to get. That's pretty amazing. So once again, shout out to Fortune Magician for having this open on video. It was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video as well, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this, including that 150K special of every single pack ever made. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tomfo Show, Ananda Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.